Hey, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, my name is Mike and I am building a full scale airplane called the Sling TSI. Now we've been at this for a few weeks now and if you remember in the last episode, we're basically building the tail end of the airplane first. This includes the horizontal and the vertical stabilizer and we have to connect all the wires and cables that's gonna hold the rudder and all of our electric lights. Guys, if you've never built an airplane before, don't worry, this is also my first time. The main thing you need to look forward to is a lot of riveting. We're gonna be riveting and drilling holes. But also you have to keep things organized, which is one of the reasons why I'm going through the Build Assist program, because I'm not the most organized person. And speaking of being organized, the sponsor of this video today is CoFlight. CoFlight is what every pilot and aircraft owner needs. What this platform does, is it takes all of the guesswork out of your maintenance. You start to transfer your maintenance records, also you can log in your flight hours and store them digitally. Today you can sign up for CoFlight and try it absolutely free. If you use the link in the description below, just head on to coflight.com and put in the referral code MojoGrip. Now let's get back to our build. So part of all of this stuff, when it comes out of the box, it all comes like this with the hose drilled, but with the TSI, because you want that flush rivet, you want to put dimples like this. Let me get it proper sharp and see how it's dimpled so you want to do this all around so you, you have hundreds of these as you can see at the bottom too they did on both sides and that's what we spent a lot of hours doing yesterday uh, I mean probably spent about seven hours building the the horizontal stabilizer but let me show you so this is this is what we built yesterday so this piece right here took about seven hours and you see all of the all of the holes so these were all done after we brought it out and this is the effect you want with those dimpled holes this is what create that flush rivets and this basically creates less drag I'll show you what it looks like on the on an actual finished airplane so normally you have this right with the holes you have this or these rivets here and when you create the dimples you have this so you see proper or better airflow creates less drag and so that's and that's part of the the design of the TSI and one of the reasons why you get better performance with it it's all in the design where again the standard sling 4 a lot of it is just you know all the rivets here but if you look at the front end which I'll show you right now sorry about that I hope there's enough light and you guys can see these so if you look here a lot of the flush rivets are here okay and so that's that's how you get the the fastest speeds and cruise or the better climb rate uh, with the TSI. And obviously a lot has to do with this more powerful turbocharged 915 Rotax engine. But anyway, you guys are gonna be in for a ride. So I will get the cameras and the GoPros on and get started. Hey guys, so uh, we just got done putting more dimples in the skin, which is gonna be these here so this skin this is a skin right here and a sample you see what the raw thing looks like before it becomes that are uh, these that we're doing right here so these these are the same skins and we just got done putting using this tool here and we've been dimpling all of this like that and you see the part that's marked with the with the markers basically don't touch we're not dimpling that but these all of these have to be dimpled obviously we are we're looking at the manholes here and it'll tell us see it shows the diagram here all of these have to be dimpled okay and that's what's gonna 
get us that flush riveting that we need. All right, but hopefully this thing will do the job today. So you're basically gonna spend hours just doing this. And we just got done with this skin and then we're gonna be doing this next. Uh, we're probably gonna spend maybe half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour doing this. And then we'll see what is next. Okay, you guys stay tuned. There goes Matt, his aerobatic plane. Hey guys, so we're just about done with the horizontal stabilizer and today Lisa is here. She's been she's been great. She's really been helping me. As you can see, literally everybody has gone home. And Lisa is the only one sticking around helping me with this drilling and, and riveting. So but basically uh, we what we wanted to do was dimple the skin on that. And this will be the shell that's gonna hold that skin together. And so what we've been doing is just putting all this dome rivets all over these to hold, because this is a two piece uh, sheet here. Thank you. And so we've been uh, using the rivets to hold it together. So we've done one here, two here, and these are all the pieces that's gonna hold them together that way and once we're once we're done with all of that putting together then we'll put the skin on it but uh, right now I'm gonna go find Jean who is gonna supervise or just see what we did and that way we can move forward to the next step all right this is <laughs> it's been a journey but but I'm loving it but anyway you guys keep watching You're clicking your sling together. Brilliant, nice job. So John is here and he's gonna tell us what the uh, what the next step okay. in putting this together. So, so what are no, we doing? You know that things are gonna change a little bit. Yeah. You're gonna tell us what. <laughs> okay. So I, look what we've done here now. Lisa can, even Lisa will check. So if you want to quickly look at the drawing here, um, we better get the correct drawing of what we're actually doing. So we built, we built the leading edge spar. Okay. Okay. What, what we, what we're making is we're making the horizontal stabilizer. That thing right there. Yeah. So this. This here spar now, it's a beautiful work of art. That is made up, that's the leading edge spar. Again, we put that together with the rivet. Yeah, you got all the spreaders making it real nice and strong. And one of the things about this is the um, TSI, it's built stronger than, than the uh, other planes because it's got more load, take, carrying capability. It's got a, a higher, Higher V and E, so all of the the members, the structural members are made stronger. Yeah. Um, so that there is leading edge spar. We put everything together. Yeah, it's the trailing edge spar. You can see there the design with the spreaders. That's what you've been riveting with another spreader like that. So that it's real, real strong. Okay. It starts with a whole bunch of thin aluminum, but that becomes really strong. So now, the next thing we're gonna do, and this is the beauty and the simplicity of this whole, this whole game, is we're gonna start putting together the two spars to make a structure like that. We're gonna end up with a structure that looks like that. Sweet. The trading edge spar, leading edge spar, and all the rubs. So, so that's what we're trying to build right now. Not trying, that's what we're building. That's what we're building. <laughs> good, good way to put it. Yeah. All right. So we just finished putting the middle section in for the horizontal uh, stabilizer. I'll show you right here. Um, you can see Lisa is the real MVP. 
<laughs> she's putting in so much work here. Oh my gosh. Um, so this is what, remember the two pieces I, basically the back and leading edge. So you see now that they're, they've come together and these are the bones holding it together. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And obviously we were looking through the manual and right now we just have the Clecos in to, to have them in place. All right, these are Clecos. And now that we have them in place, our supervisor, Jean, he's gonna come through and check and make sure everything is good to go. And then I guess the next step is to just put the rivets in. And boom, we'll have the horizontal stabilizer and we can finally put these skins to cover it up. And I think we should be good for the day. Hey guys, so we are finally done with putting all the rivets in this case in here for the horizontal stabilizer and what we're about to do next is put the skin on it, okay? So I wanted to show you what that's like and also, hope you can still see it and also kind of show you the two steps of what we've been doing so far. So. Really the first step of each, everything we put together is we use these to hold them in place first, right? So this will hold it in place first. And then once we get all the right holes and fittings, then we use these, which are the rivets to now kind of nail them in. So that's what we're about to do now with the skin. And what they're doing is taking out the rack. There we go. Good. Thank you. So is it positioned properly or is your face yes. the other way? So we, we've done a good inspection. We haven't missed any ribs or anything. Okay. Do um, we need to straighten these out or just... We, we'll tweak those. Them? You can have a look at all of these. Okay. Um, I've gone over them more or less. Okay. Um, all right. So what we're going to do is Clico it on because we want to get the new revision, which is... What color? Because this is gonna be a really special airplane, we wanna get the revision where we get these plates in. Amen. Which give you a place to press down with. So I think for tonight, a good thing is, let's put the skin on, okay. put a few clicos in, and Call that way, we also have a look and see. At the moment, look at this. The frame is very flimsy. Okay. Okay, twist to that. So the Put skin. this on with a few picos and you'll be amazed how strong it becomes. Okay. Any particular yep. color? Let's go that side. What picos will be, Ooh. or will be, oh, um, 3.2 codes copper palette. So this yep. is the skin going on to cover all the magic yes. we just made happen here. Thank you. There you go. Sweet. Right, so it's... And as I explained, this is how we do the fitting first with the Clecos and <laughs> goes in. Get the first one. Actually, let's do this one. That you got it. You want me to do this corner? Yeah. Okay. If you can, and then I've got this. So this is what helps us do the right fit in first, and then we'll do it all over the casing. And then once we have all the right fit in, we then put the. Uh, Sorry, trying to get this right. We then put the 
rivets to finally nail them down. But for now, I'm just gonna go all around with the help of Lisa and put all of this in place. All right, take care, Kevin. Are you out of here tonight? Yes, sir. All right, man. I will uh, catch up with yeah. you next year. Next year? You're not coming back till next year? Yeah, except yeah. except baby and mommy lets me yeah. come back. <laughs> when would you? Huh? When do you do? Literally, could be today. Really? Any hey, any you day. Get home, dude. Yeah. yeah. Get home. Any day from now, but we're we're looking more like in a week or within the next three weeks by the grace of God, so. Nice. Well, all right then. Um, I'll go ahead and have the a uh, lot of the play finished by the time you get back. That, I would greatly appreciate that. Pop one or two in here. All right. Right, how much of this do you want to do? I think this is good for one side. Do you yeah. think we should keep going? No, so I think we're going to open up anyway and put the other thing on. Yeah. Yeah. Because we got to do... Good. I have no idea which one you just... You can just even tell the difference in that one side, how much more stable it is. Yeah. How much yeah. stronger it is. Well, if we look at... Let's put in... Yeah, you just gotta be careful because you don't want to damage the skin. Okay. Alright, uh, let's just put in a few on this side. Where is that? So, it's that so you turn it. Yeah, that. So it push up. There we go. Good. Let's do. On in there. Good. Let's do one thing. That one is not one. And then one or two here. That's the force that has to withstand to pass the testing. Yeah. Oh, I repeat that again on camera. Okay. I've had this easily. I can stand here and this one break. This will take my weight. And that's that's part of the that's together. part of the testing. <laughs> the testing we piled on I think it was hundred and forty kilograms on this area. So wow. we put it on a board, we put on, we put on bags of cement. So we have 140 kilograms, not wow. pounds, kilograms. That's good. Yeah. When, you, when you're coming in at 85 knots, uh, or at 75 knots, and you side slip, the force and you, is immense. People don't realize it, but it's immense. It's this whole machine. Pushed wow. by the road. Well, that, that's also good to know, maybe in rough weather or something. Yes, exactly. All okay. right. You want to take, hold it up there, so here is the horizontal stabilizer with the skin on. This is basically what it looks like. And now we uh, we basically uh, put the clickos on them. We haven't put the rivets yet, but this is what it looks like. And guys, look, <laughs> you want to say big thank you to John because if you look outside it's pitch black that's to show you it is empty here we are the last people getting this done so I really appreciate you John sure that's how all we right do. Mm -hmm. so let's move on uh, so we'll leave it here and next time we'll finish up uh, basically the tail end and the entire empennage 